Hello and welcome to the next episode of The Crystal Goddess. I'm Laura Delu and today I have done a um, a bit of a one for a friend who's requested this. So my friend Katie, uh, Katie Parker, who is amazing, please do have a look at her page. She's one of the most incredible jewellery makers. Um, her work is stunning and her wire work is just ridiculously good. Um, so if you want to get yourself some new jewellery, head over that way. Um, I think she's in my subscribed on my recommended list of viewing so please do click on her link and you'll learn loads from her she's fantastic she does workshops and all things um she did question um or wanted to know what gemstones attract wealth so i've kind of looked over the history because there's loads of different gemstones that are believed to attract wealth so i thought i'd go through my top favorites um the first one is pyrite pyrite actually forms in a golden color um and it's it's an amazing amazing gemstone it's got a fantastic metallic luster to it and it forms in cubes when it grows it grows in cubes like fluorite or like a diamond would um and diamonds also form in the octahedron as well of course so it's long been associated any gemstone that's yellow in color has long been associated with money because they think of gold and gold has always been associated with wealth and with power so pyrite kind of goes down that route it has that wonderful metallic luster it has been mistaken for gold in the past it's actually had the name fool's gold for a number of years mainly because when people were mining for gold if they came upon pyrite they genuinely thought they'd found gold um which was kind of obvious if you find it you go oh my goodness that, that it looks like gold but then they take it off to the bank or wherever it was that they used to trade the gold in and the people would kind of laugh at them and say no this is fool's gold so pyrite is one that is supposedly believed to draw in money and it's a great one if you have a business they recommend that you pop it on your till or if you pop it in your pocket or in your wallet that's one to do with those and that's supposed to attract wealth to you it's the same for citrine citrine is the next one in fact that would be my top one um, for attracting money it is known as the merchant stone and if you place it i think it's in the left hand corner of your house i think that's the feng shui corner for wealth and money but if you put it in the left hand corner of your house the furthest left hand corner of the house supposedly that helps to to draw wealth and money and abundance to you it's also again with this one believed to do the same if you pop it on your till if you're a business or in your wallet or in your pocket so citrine's a really nice one as well and it's got kind of a bit of a, a fizzy vibe to it it's quite light-hearted really lovely whereas pyrite's quite a heavy a heavy base kind of feel to it then moss agate now this is one that you might not think about when you think about attracting wealth but green gemstones and yellow gemstones long have had this fantastic association with attracting wealth uh, moss agate actually was used by farmers many many years ago in the hope that it would bring about an abundance of the crop and it's kind of gone on from there that people have then sort of associated with with kind of that wonderful growth of money and the idea of a money tree so that's where that one's come in so moss agate is a great one as well and finally jade jade has very much been uh, associated with wealth and finance it's one of the most prestigious gemstones it has such an incredibly long long history um, you think about china and how far back the love of jade goes it really is a magnificent stone and again it's got kind of an earthy vibe to it so those are four stones that um are believed very strongly to bring wealth and abundance into your life they are wonderful if i was to choose any one of them i would choose citrine i prefer citrine because it's got kind of a purity to it now do make sure you're getting proper citrine don't get any um well citrine actually starts off life the majority of the time it's amethyst and then it's heated to turn it into citrine if you can get natural citrine that comes out of the ground quite often they tend to be darker in color so going more towards your madeira browns if you can get one of those that would be more beneficial i think than the the lighter color of the citrine but pyrite's a great one moss agate unusual quirky whether it works or not who knows um, and then you've got jade as well so those are my very quick four top gemstones for attracting wealth and abundance into your life 
Thank you very much for watching this. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Please do like, subscribe and tick the bell so that you can get notifications. I'll be posting every Wednesday and every Sunday. If you do have anything that you would like to know more about or tell me what gemstones you like to use for attracting abundance and wealth into your life, that would be amazing. I'd love to hear from it because there are so many that you can choose from. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've had a great time and I will see you next time on The Crystal Goddess. Love to all.